So we looked at the random, uh, creating a random number. Um, you can also use, again, creating a random next color or a random color for an object. So what I did here is just went ahead and created a quick circle. Uh, again, we uh, created the circle with 20, um, it's got a 20, inch, uh, 20 pixel radius. We set the position to 200 to 200. Now notice what says circle dot set color. I went in here and I uh, referenced the randomizer dot next color method or dot notation. And so now that I've done this, uh, let me move this up <coughs> so it's much easier, it's easier to see. Um, oh, I didn't, I uh, gotta run my, that's why I use the, uh, the start function. Uh, so here I am. Uh, here's my beautiful looking mustard brown kind of looking uh, circle. So as I click run, it's going to give me a new color. Okay, just whatever, you know, out of all the billions of colors out there, it's giving me just random colors. Um, I'm going to wait. <laughs> If there's a custodian in the building, please report oh, to the high no. school office. If there's a custodian in the building, so, please report to the high school office. Now you'll see that it's running uh, new colors every time that I click it. Now, what if I wanted to uh, hit the run button once and have the user click um, to change the color? As of now, I'm like, refreshing the page. So again, remember, I could go up here and I could use the mouse click method. So now that I've got this, uh, this function created, I'm going to go up here, create a new function. Uh, we're going to call it uh, change color. And here I'm going to uh, reference mouse click method. And then the method that I want them to use, I want it to use a circle, the one that I've created. Okay. And so now that I have this created, I've essentially created my circle. I have created a new function called change color. And I've used the mouse click method. Uh, and it's going to reference this function, which is why I put circle in here. Now I got to go down here and I need to call that change color function, the one that I just created. So essentially this is the, uh, this is the function that houses everything. It uh, houses the method I need and it houses the, um, the things I need it to do, which are right down here. So let's click run. Notice nothing happened. When I click on it, it's going to change those colors as often you can't probably can't hear the clicking um, but is every time I click it I'm adding a new a new color okay so that's just another way to use the randomizer just wanted you to see the idea of the color um, you would put it inside so that actually is becoming the color um, it's just random according to um, which one is uh, which one's given to us so that's randomizers with the color